Hi guys. <laughs> what, we are here to talk about the Microsoft E3. Did it convince me to buy an Xbox? No, but they're going in the right direction. Uh, we we just watched it live. We're gonna be covering all the conferences, which maybe we already have. If you already seen this, I don't know. But uh, yeah, uh, uh, it was all right. It wasn't great. I thought it was just uh, they tried to it, it fucking destroyed. EA though, that's yeah, EA, yeah, EA's was just fucked. They, Microsoft kept it rolling, but they, they're still doing the thing where they bring the developer out after it and they ramble about the game. Oh, we forgot to say, Dylan's here. Dylan, yeah, what did you Dylan think of it? Here. I like the conference, it's pretty key. He's been joining us for the streams, you know, just hanging yeah. out, so that's cool. Dylan's been wanting to be more part of the channel, but they need to stop, all of, everyone needs to stop bringing the developer out and have him ramble about the game. Just show us the gameplay, and then later on, because they always have like those secondary things where yes. they interview the developers, then tell us more yeah. about the game. Yeah, do that later, because E3 is days longer. It's going to last till the end of Tuesday, so have little things with your developers then that we can watch. Upload them online, or don't bring them out in the conference. I don't give a fuck to hear about these guys talking about, we were working on this game for five years, we put a lot of work into it, most, a lot of team. Uh, I don't give a fuck, I just want to see the, the game. I mean, most of the time, they just come out to like, just put themselves over yeah. like, like, oh yeah, we're, we're, we're so hard on this game, yeah, guys. Know, oh, do. we're so cool. Uh, they do It's just like, that. okay, come on, just let us, uh, just show us the game. Just keep it on the game. But Microsoft did a pretty good job with this trailer, trailer, trailer. No, they did a good job. Way better than EA. Way better. EA would fucking, they're like, look, here's FIFA, kind of, and no, we're gonna talk about it. It was fun. It's like, oh, um, here's a cell phone game. Let's show you a whole match. Wow, this is so intense. Look at this. Microsoft showed off a bunch of exclusives. They're not really exclusive because they're gonna be on PC as well, obviously. But yeah, they, well, I don't see what the Console exclusive. Yeah. Um, so that was neat. That, I mean, it's good to see that they're trying. They are. Right they're going in the right direction. They bought five game studios that weren't really Which, that important. Whatever. They were just. Whatever. It was like remember in, back in '99 they made this Xbox game. Well, now they're back. All yeah, right. Everyone's like, oh, cool. A bunch of studios that are just whatever. Maybe you like them. Maybe there's people that are like, wait, you don't like uh, Donnie Bringus and the Dingles because they're awesome. I don't know. It was a bunch of studios I didn't care about, and, uh, and people in our chat were just like, uh, yeah, so what? So. I think most people won't care about these studios, but yeah. they, they are trying. We'll see what happens. Yeah, I wasn't impressed um, with any of their exclusives, to, to, to the point where I'm going to buy an Xbox. Um, the, they showed off Halo at the very beginning, which, which was, is what you I, need to I, do. So. I was excited, but then it was like, it's called Halo Infinite, and then like, they didn't really show much about it. They were just like, it's here it is, Halo, there, Halo Infinite's coming. We didn't get gameplay or anything, just a little trailer. You got to see the Master Chief. And uh, some soldiers, and that was it, pretty much. Like that, like literally, that was it. And some, maybe some like old some, ruins and stuff. Some but. pretty cool indie games. Ori 2 looked cool. Uh, then there was what do we got? Uh, there was like that Dark Soul, the game made by the oh, Dark Souls yeah, people. Oh yeah, yeah. What was it called? It was like is it based in Japan? It looked pretty cool. I know there's a lot of people that are gonna love that. Mark is gonna love that. Uh, yeah, yeah, new Battletoads game coming. It's from From that's, Software. They just said it's coming. That's all. We don't uh, know if Rare's making. It. I didn't say or not. Uh, uh, just well, I'd new, hope not. If they're making Sea of Thieves, I don't, right? I don't know if I trust them with Battletoads. Um, it's gonna be a rare property still. Though, well, yeah, I know, but I mean, they them. didn't. Don't make, let them. Debate. They didn't make Killer Instinct though, did they? Oh, I don't know. Didn't did someone it? else? Make? I could be wrong. I could but anyways, be wrong. Battletoads. We didn't get to see anything about Battletoads either. It was literally just a quick little snippet of some animation and it's gonna be all hand drawn apparently according to the thing for 4k 2.5 yeah it had like a really long tag yeah. it's like it's like new 4k 2.5d yeah, graphics yeah, so yeah, i'm like oh yeah, okay uh, uh the thing i was most excited for was a game called metro exodus that was called right metro exodus yeah, yeah. that looked metro awesome exodus. like i looked got a lot super through. sick to me you can't see it because uh, like, i don't know if there was been a metro game beforehand i don't know anything about this but what i saw i was like damn that looks sick the graphics in the world and everything looked gameplay looked fun. The the the, the guns looked like they felt good to play with. Like you can when you're playing the game, like, ooh, it feels solid. Yeah, that game nice. looked really cool. Looked really awesome. That was my favorite part of it. Um, <sighs> we got the gears pop. Oh, the game, gears pop game, That's which so was by stupid. far the worst thing they showed off. They're trying so hard to be Lego, but you're um, never gonna be Lego. Yeah, they're trying to make Lego style game clearly with pop figures. It had like, oh, look, like, oh, gears of war. That's not a pop thing, but yeah, they're doing right? it. And it was like the, the it was like all quirky and the thing like the. Show the bad guys, and they were like, uh oh, we're bad guys. And they got blown up, and they're like, hey, it's like all weak. They're trying to have like that lighthearted, fun humor for like kids and families, but, yeah, but it was just ridiculous. Kids aren't going to be playing games. It was terrible. More. And it's a mobile game on top of that. I don't know what the fuck is up with these company showing off mobile games at E3 now. They're, fucking EA games. Don't show it at E3. Just thing. fucking put it on the, yeah, on just, your, on yeah. the aisle, on the store. Yeah, just put it on the store. People will buy it. People will see it, see it when they're shitting. They'll get it. And that's... Don't need to fucking give us an E3 presentation. Uh, there, there's a new Life is Strange type of game that did not look very good to it's me. It's free, apparently. It is free. It said it says completely free. It says 100% free, so. 
Uh, that did not look yeah, good yeah. to me. That it looked, looked like there was no, like, I thought there was gonna be a dark turn. There's like, nope, he's just, it's just a kid using his imagination having fun. I'm like, yeah, oh, exactly. It where's free, the well. conflict? But it's free, so. It's free, you so. Can't, you can't get mad at him. No, I'm not it's mad. fucking free, you know what I mean? But, um, also, after the Gears Pop thing, we gotta look at uh, Gears Tactical game, but the thing is just for PC, which is weird, because I would like to actually try that. It looked fun, you know, turn based tactical game, kind of like Mario Rabbits or SOCOM and stuff like that. Um, so that was interesting, but it's, I think it was PC only, so we can't fucking play because we don't play PC. Yeah. Uh, we're noobs, we're scrubs, yeah. sorry about ya. But then after that, we got to look at Gears 5, which looked uh, pretty cool. We didn't get to see much, we got to see a little bit, but what we did see was pretty awesome. It did look really good. Um, I've never played Gears, but it looked really good. I missed out on Gears 4 and maybe Gears 3. I know I played Gears 1 and 2, but I can't remember if I played 3 or not. But uh, I would like to catch up and give it a go. They're like gonna first. stream. They're they're gonna be focusing on streaming shit. Mm -hmm. Like up to your yeah, phone. Yeah, to your then. phone. Like they are talking about at the end, of, near the end of the conference. They're like, we're gonna be streaming to any device that can pretty much do it. Like it's like literally what they were saying. And they showed Xbox on the cell phone. I'm like. I do not want to play fucking console games on my cell phone. Yeah, like, no. are you fucking? Cell phone I need a fucking controller. Like, come on. Well, I think they can. Like, they're probably. Yeah, but that's still, too much. Like, oh, hold on, I'm waiting in line. Okay, let's like get it. Oh, here we go. You're like at Walmart and you whip out your Xbox controller. You're like, I'm getting a little change, but I'm playing this fucking shit. Yeah, no, this is know. too much. Um, and uh, all the other games were just kind of just whatever. I mean, they were cool. We got to see Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts uh, looked awesome. Was just cool. No sound effects for some for reason. For some reason, there was no sound effects. You couldn't put, you couldn't put them in for the trailer, at least, just the whole episode. I don't know. I don't know who, they had it to watch looks, that, you know? It just looked weird. Did, I don't know. I'm sure the game's going to be awesome, but that um, really just rubbed me the wrong way. Other than that, pretty much standard. And then the, uh, at the end of it, they pretended very... like they got hacked. And yeah. Phil Spencer was on stage, like, like, look up at the screen when it got all glitchy. I was like, calm down. Just calm down, motherfucker. And we got to look at Cyberpunk 2077, which looked very beautiful and very awesome. Awesome. Uh, very cool. I guess it was a decent way to end the show. It I mean, was a good way to end the show. I, I feel know. like Gears 5 yeah, would be... Uh, get more people... I don't think like, Cyberpunk 2077 is an exclusive, though. Is huh? it? I don't think it's an exclusive. I think it is. Why, is it, it, if, if it's, it's not, not an exclusive, exclusive and they ended it with that, then that's fucking weird. It's like, buy this on, X um, on Xbox or PlayStation. Yeah, but right? Xbox 2! Uh, That'd be weird. All yeah. games play better on Xbox, just so you know. Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, I guess it is stronger, so... Um, um, they showed... Devil May Cry 5 looked awesome. Yeah. I didn't, Devil May Cry 4, I didn't play it. It didn't look appealing yeah. to me. This one looked a lot cooler. Old Dante is better, though. Old Dante is better. New Dante New Dante's is Cody kind, of, Rhodes. kind of a bitch. He is Cody Rhodes. He He's does. just Cody Rhodes. He does look like they should get Cody Rhodes in the game. Uh, new Tomb Raider looked cool, but it's not... I don't think it's exclusive or anything. It was... Uh, uh, yeah, it's probably timed exclusive. Yeah. You know, whatever. It's um, Tomb Raider. There you go. I, lo I like Tomb Raider, but... Um, Everything else just, like, whatever, pretty much. It was. Much. It was a lot of... They're, they're going in the right direction, but there's not enough... Like, they're making exclusives, but there's not, like... They don't have any, like, exclusives that'll make you want to buy it. Like, he bought a PS4 to play Persona 5. Yes. They need games that are, like, fucked, like, that really good. Exact, that, literally, when I saw Persona 5, I was like, I need to buy a PS4 to play this. Yeah. I was going into this wanting to buy an Xbox One, yeah. but there's just, there was nothing that, like, hooked yeah. me. I mean, Cyberpunk 77 looked good, but... It had stuff that looked good, but nothing that, like... Hit Cameron. me. Cameron's not much of a shooter guy. Yeah, I'm not like shooters, but like he's more into story, action, adventure yeah. type of stuff. I mean, I like shooters, but like I don't know. That's not that's not what. If I had an Xbox, I'd get that game, but I'm not gonna yeah. buy it. Xbox. Why? Is, we'll see if it's even ex if exclusive. It's even exclusive. Even exclusive. I don't know. People are gonna light us up in the comments for not knowing well, that. Well, we we said we don't know. Come on, cut us a break here, man. I don't think it is though. Um, um, Tales of Vesperia, that looked cool. Oh, yeah, 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 Vesperia, Dynamic yeah, game. it's uh, the first Tales of game, right? It's the first time we're getting it in the West, apparently. Yeah. So that's cool, very anime, very fun. I'll definitely be getting that. I mean, not much else really. There's that Fox Zelda game oh, that looked pretty cool. They talked about, uh, yeah, that was just like a weird It was idea. just like weird. They talked about, um... Sea of Thieves expansions, like anybody cares. They, they spent way too much cares. time on that. Like, Dude, look, we got more Sea of Thieves. I know you guys don't like it and don't want to play it. You want Banjo? They're gonna, we're not going to let them work on Banjo. This is what they're doing. Yeah, exactly. So we got that. Uh, all in all, Microsoft did absolutely destroy EA. EA's was pure trash. We didn't get to talk about EA because I wasn't here. Yeah. But uh, okay. EA's was pure trash. Microsoft, I'd give it a 7. It was fine. It, seven it, was, it was fine. There was nothing... Nothing that they showed off looked shitty. See a thieves on them. Yeah, yeah, maybe that is a little shitty for yeah. me, but nothing on there was bad. They're headed in the right direction, but they're not there yet. It was passing. It was supposedly their biggest E3 ever, and I mean, I was just like, okay, whatever. They did hint, They did say they're working on the next Xbox. Uh, yeah, they did say they're working on the, like, the next on one. Right now. So I guess the consoles are not dead. Obviously, people say yeah. they are. They're not dead. They're not. Good. They might die someday, but not anytime soon. Yeah. 
But so, Rich, watch your fucking back. I'm serious. Watch your back, Rich. Um, it's gonna take time for them to get all the, like the crazy good exclusives and stuff. Um, so I'm not we'll being see. too hard because for some reason it took until like it took them until like last year to realize, oh shit, we need exclusives. What do you think, Dilly? Oh, I thought it was pretty good. It was all right. See, there you go. Dilly, Dilly liked it. So and he's and he's unbiased. See, you know, he he doesn't have an Xbox or a PlayStation. You know. Yeah. He's not either one of those. He guys. He's not even a gamer. He just wanted he to be on the show. He doesn't even play games. That's a little guy. He plays games, but not video <laughs> games. <laughs> um, anyway, let us know what you thought of Microsoft's conference. Did you think that it was better than EA's? I doubt it, because EA's was amazing. Um, let us know what you're looking forward to for the other conferences. Am I a dick for not wanting to buy an Xbox yes. off of this? Yes, just yes. You don't even have to tell me in the comments. But let us know in the comments what you think. We'll be there for. Bethesda, which we'll probably, by the time this gets uploaded, Bethesda will be going on. We'll make thoughts on that as well. And thank you for coming and watching. Thanks to everyone who attended our stream. We'll be streaming pretty much everything. Thank except you PC. Maybe not Square Enix. Because we'll be busy. Anyways, see you in the next one. Please out. Is it peace or please? It's peace. Ah. So I want to say thank you to your loyalty. Thank you for your support.